Hey y'all, today we'll be making this silver lip gloss and if you're not already, subscribe to this channel and thumbs up the video if you like it. Before you start, make sure you clean down your workspace and added something underneath where you're going to be making the lip gloss because it will get messy and you don't want to have to clean all that up later on. If you're new to making lip gloss and you don't know how much Versagel to use, I suggest getting a kitchen scale and measuring it out that way, but I usually eyeball it because I know how much to use. In a separate bowl or cup, you want to add your oils. I always use about one to two tablespoons of each oil, and I use grapeseed oil, coconut oil, and vitamin E oil. If you're adding pigments to your lip gloss, I recommend pouring it into the oil first before adding it to the Versagel. That way you can see the color and kind of adjust it to the way you like it. It's also very easy to mix together and avoid separation later on. The pigment I'm using today is from TKB Trading and it's this silvery color with gold, so not gold, silver glitter in it and when you apply it to the lips it will be clear but your lips will also be pigmented with a little bit of glitter. When you're using a powder pigment you want to make sure to mix it thoroughly so you don't have any like clumps or lumps left in it when you pour the oil into the Versagel because it's a lot harder to mix it once it's already in the Versagel compared to when it's still in the oil. If you're going for a thicker lip gloss base, then you don't want to add too much oil. But if you're going for a looser lip gloss, then you want to add more oil. But you also don't want to add too much oil at once. You want to add a tiny bit, then mix, and then a tiny bit and mix. You know, until you finally get the consistency that you want. Also, remember not to mix too fast because if you mix too fast, then you'll get air bubbles, and that's just not good. So obviously this is not the same color in the clip you just saw. I did add some more silver glitter because I wanted it to be less clear and more like the silvery color. And I did add some more oil into it and mixed it until I got the consistency I wanted. For this lip gloss, I wanted it to be glazed donut scented. And you don't need a lot of this at all. I actually added way too much, but I really like the scent to come through. So I add more than I really should. And if you're looking for a strong scented lip gloss flavoring oil, you should use Get Suckered because they smell the best. Once again, you want to mix slowly, but it's also important that you make sure you mix thoroughly because the lip gloss and the flavoring oil don't always mix. And then when you apply it to your lips, there's a little bit of a bitter taste and we want to avoid that. Now you want to take a pipette and cut off the end and the top of it and place it on the tip of your syringe. This way is a lot less messy than just scooping in the lip gloss and putting it in the top, but that way is a lot faster if you're in a rush. When you're filling up the syringe, you want to go slow because then you'll be able to avoid getting air bubbles more. But if you do get air bubbles, you can always just push the little bubble out and then suck up more lip gloss base.
If you're having a hard time getting lip gloss into the bottom corners of your squeeze tube, I recommend trying the squeeze technique where you pour a little bit into the tube, squeeze it, and then pour the rest of it in. This lip gloss is really good if you want to just wear like lip gloss on its own, but it's also really nice to layer on top of your favorite lipstick. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Also, if you want to check out my website, it'll be linked down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thanks for watching. Bye!